medical places, hospitals, whatever you want to call them, they're f they're not full. I just got off a monster run a little bit ago, and you're almost always going to lose troops somehow. If you don't have enough uh, res, which is indicated down here on the bottom, you might want to click all, and it'll tell you which one you don't have enough of, which is indicated by red, and there again means stop, you can't go no further. The plus sign just means you can add, it really has no function, just click on the res itself, and it will take you to your food source or food stores from your backpack. Um, when you get bigger, you don't want to use a lot of food when you're healing stuff. So I'm going to hit, uh, let's see here, I need 24. So I'm just going to use five of my 5,000. You click on the stack and it'll tell you four. It doesn't let you go over, bottom, uh, but it will. It'll warn you, by the way. It says I'm going to use 25,000. I need 24,120, so I'm just going to hit use. I'm going to go back and hit this red button. And I'm going to hit heal. And they're healing. This does take time. Some of the level ones, and I think all the level ones, uh, they don't take time at all. So once that started, you can get out of here. You'll still see everything's red. Anytime you see ZZ means something needs to happen. It's not functioning. Um, exclamation points means it needs attention, they're full. So you don't have any spires yet, from what I, I don't believe you do. You can click the spires. Uh, right now I'm just building up uh, my packs so that I can upgrade my, uh, I forget what are the familiars. So I do 1 or 1A. Uh, you'll notice the time it says 6 hours for 1 and 1A. And then it doubles when you get to 2 and 2A. So right now, all I'm doing is just the 1A packs. There again, just like when you're healing, you can click on the food. I need 49,000. So I'll find a 50,000, which I don't have, unfortunately. So I'll use a couple 30s. That'll give me about 60. And then I'll hit merge. Okay. At this point, you can just exit out of this. And now we have this little guy right here. Uh, this is where I'm going to train. This is the gym, which you don't have yet, but you will. Um, I want everything to go to 20. That way I can start upgrading, and I'll show you that in a little bit. I want to hit confirm. Done training. Takes eight hours, eight and a half hours. This little guy right here is where we're going to, the monster hold is where we're going to expand our packs. I'm going to hit use. And these little things right here is what you really want, the fragments. Okay, that's going to upgrade everything for you uh, once you get a billion of them, I think it is. But right now we're not going to do anything in here. It's just a waste of my time. This little guy right here, use it daily, gives you good stuff. Once it comes up, it's a little slow. It's a labyrinth. Don't ask me why. I think it's just the recording. Uh, you'll get it eventually if you don't have it yet. But it gives you like 2,000 energy. Those are very useful later on in the game. And I'm waiting. The connection for some reason is slow between my iPad and my iMac. Anytime you see an exclamation point, hit it. That means you've got some good stuff coming to you somewhere. And here's the VIP, VIP quests. Um, there's a time limit between all of them. You want all of them. The higher the VIP level, the better you, the better the rewards. Guild quests every five hours or six hours. Just use all those up as fast as you can so you can get more. Mind you, the higher you get, the less likely you want to use these due to the fact that it's just a waste of food. It really is. You get guild points or guild uh, coin, which is great. Um, this little sign right here, this sword with an X, means I have garrison troops or reinforced troops.
reinforcement troops. And right now I only have 13,000 grunts. Does not tell me whose they are, which is fine. I, well, Lily said it's hers, which is fine. And then we go over. Your base is going to look different than mine, okay? So don't worry about that. This right here is the Colosseum. Um, the higher the level, the more gems you get. Mine was up to 40 points, but then we had a some kind of event that made everybody start doing this. Now all the big guys are involved, and I can't beat them. Darn it. <laughs> but that's all right. Neither here nor there. Your ship. Believe it or not, a trading guy or uh, the cargo ship is where I do a lot of exchanging. Um, be smart when you play with this, okay? Like, there's four four million uh, ore for 13 mil food. Um, eventually, it it you break way more than even. I mean, you do real well. Um, if I have them, I'll go ahead and I'll use the four mil. Which I know I do, because that's 13 mil food. But I don't think I want to use them right yet. I don't. I've got quite a bit of ore, but I don't want to use them. I'll leave that area alone for now and make decisions later. Um, this little statue, guys, you're going to want to use that quite quite often until you get to 6, whatever. 615 till you get higher level. This is where you're going to get some of your heroes. Beat these. Try to beat them with three stars. If you don't, if you can't beat it with a three star, at least beat it so you can get to the next level. That next level may be easier. Um, reason being is because when you start upgrading your heroes, you're going to have to start doing a lot of these repeatedly over and over and over. And to show you here why, or what I'm talking about, if you go down to the helmet, this is where your leaders are. Um, my Oath Keeper is the guy I'm currently trying to upgrade. So I'll go into him, and at the bottom you'll see Metals. Metals is what upgrades him. Uh, in fact, Metals is what gets most of your heroes. So if you click on the little hand, it'll come up with uh, multiple stages you can do. If you do not get a three star, you cannot go in and hit auto run. You have to actually manually fight. So right now I can hit this 10 and auto run all these events for me. Now the heroes don't get experience per se. You get experience, but your experience comes in the pack of bonuses, which you can disperse to any hero you want. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I find that if you fight manually, you get more experience. But if you just want to get it done, just do the random or the automatic. And now I have nine more heroes until I have a hundred to upgrade upgrade my oath keeper again. Most of this you just really want to keep upgrading. Now the food is pretty much a waste of time to upgrade once you get to a certain spot. You will need to get a level 24 farm to get your castle up higher. There are requirements for buildings. So that's one thing I did want to show you real quick. Like if you hit your castle and hit upgrade, You'll see that right now I've got two days left in the queue. I can only build one thing at a time. I still need a level 24 wall, a level 24 infantry, and a little level 24 manor before I can go any further. And, oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. The upgrades, or the resources are ridiculous. 24 million stone and wood, 14 million ore, and 17 million food. So keep that in mind. Another thing I wanted to show you is there comes a point when your food up at the upper right hand corner, sorry my uh, pop-ups keep showing up, they just, it drains it. There's no way around it. Just 
completely drains it. So upgrading food to try to keep up with it, it might be a smart idea at the beginning of the game, but when you when you get up to a certain point, it's just a waste of time. I have actually deleted um, a lot of my farms and put in other resources in, okay, um, which is uh, stone, wood, ore, just to get rid of them. In fact, I'm thinking about doing that to these four right here, here shortly. Neither here nor there. Manners, you sort of want to get those up to as well. I know that's just level eight. That's a little guy, but um, gold is a big, big resource in the game. And it's very scarce in the wild, per se, nor in the kingdom. So other than that, that's pretty much all for the turf. Um, it comes a point when you want to uh, get tier three. Um, notice on the bottom here, I've only got a quarter or a half, should I say, of my trebuchets or whatever you want to call them. Darn it, wrong button again. And then anything else. Um, they're good for hauling large amounts of food, but they're really slow, so it's really not even worth it at this point. And let's see here. There again, when you see something flashing, like the wings, click on those, and... Uh, go find out what's going on when it's flashing typically this middle the the, the shield and uh, shield and cross swords is where it's referring to okay there's no rally going on these are all protection you've noticed they're all over th three hours seven hours that's because some of these characters or members don't have enough space in their 